Hello and welcome back to Dark Souls 2 with your stream loaders into the mad. Apparently last time I accidentally left the game running at 60 frames per second, so that's why my weapon durability has been quite as nasty. Also, I may have been uh, less lucky with torches as well. Who the hell is that? Where did he come from? Oh, seriously? Sir? 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 Oh, he wanted to join them for some reason. Okay. Let's get this guy. And... Gentlemen? Okay, so there's three of them attacking this tree now. That's not ideal. Like, what if I accidentally aggro them, somehow? Ah, that doesn't seem to be a, an actual possibility. So let's leave them be. I don't care if they don't like the tree. They can continue fighting the giants for as long as they like. Which may be for quite long. Okay, yeah, let's hope we only aggroed one. It looks like we only aggroed one. Which is all good to me, for me. Oop. I don't do that. That's pretty mean, sir. Quite mean indeed. Alright, and you? Still trying to get me with that, eh? Not gonna work. I'm too good for you. You should come back. Right, uh, user. Feel free to approach me. Your audience is at hand. Apparently, the side step allows me to move in faster like afterwards because the ground bash slows me when I'm near it which is good to know something I learned from another let's play started very close to mine like just before Whoop. no 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 your axe is not required Neither is your knife, sir. Sometimes the sword still gets some good use, I guess. I think that should be all of them. I hope that's all of them. Because otherwise, getting out of here might be might be inconvenient. Yeah, it looks like it's all of them. Good. But this does mean we are almost able to walk to our nice little bonfire. And, you know, just relax. Not worry about the thing. Except this guy here. And we don't even have to worry about him. Because we can't hit him anyway. Unless we do it like that. In which case he is hit and he's dead. Which is quite nice really. For a moment here I was wondering where did I lose all this... Uh, all of my souls. Then I remembered that I actually bought something. Okay this has... This is generally better I think. Like it offers less stability maybe. But on the other hand, look at it, look at it, it's it's better stats generally everywhere. Plus it looks like a big drum, like the top of the drum anyway. Not a real drum, sadly. Fire arrow. And then let's just open this door. And... For the first time in forever, let's go and rest at the bonfire. Yeah. That sounds good. Ooh, there's an eye there. What a joy. I don't really care for the die. Okay, down we go. Alright. 
I forgot that you have respawned now. Because we did actually rest at the bonfire. Amazing how that works, isn't it? Oh, I missed. <laughs> Sorry, madam. I'll have to end this dance. Alrighty then. Let's go down in this hole. Now, if I had done this the other way around, well, let's be fair, I don't have the falling rings, so I can't do this any other way around, but, you know, you know what I mean, you don't know what I mean. Like, if I had... I don't even know. Birds, many birds. Yeah, Pete, Pete you can join us. Lute, you can join us. Uh, no online characters there? That's fine. This guy is really useful. He does that roar thing. Like, we can also roar, like, roar. I kept thinking he's as an actual player, but then I realized... Like, you know, he'd be way out of my soul level range. Because he'd need to be a new game plus to have, you know, double Havel shields. Because... Those those are pretty pretty impressive as far as equipment goes. I don't know if you can actually do damage like that. On the other hand, I don't have a single character with the strength to actually test it out. Come on, you old bugger. You know you want to fight, you know I want to fight, so... Oh, wait, no, no, don't run at me. Okay. Go for the ankles! Wait, okay, let's be fair. The shield is not gonna be a lot of help here. Also, I can... I think I can switch my SS tasks. I also forgot to upgrade my Estus Flask before coming here. I think that should be okay, in general. Oop. Instant peak mean moves. I'm gonna back off a little. Let's see what else I can do to help. Oh. Well, apparently keeping his attention on me is something I can do to help. Well, apparently that was not sufficient attention keeping. Whoop, 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 get out of there, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there, fast, 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 drink up. Worry about something else entirely. Uh, the AI... Oh. And I was about to say the AI is handling itself very well. But on the other hand, neither am I. But there we go. That's the first boss down. We have achieved victory. Our little uh, companions here will now go on their own way. And we could refill our Estus flasks by offering someone else help. Which is what I kept doing in the past. I just placing a summoning mark and hoping that I could be of use to someone. I just realized I have only leveled up once this far. I'm impressed. You are not. You are the viewer. But that's not your name either. Where did the fellow go? Who knows? I wonder where bait is too. Like I have things to ask him maybe. Maybe. We have a lot of business back in Majula right now. Maybe I should look into that. On the other hand, look, I can light the torch. What when you light it? Uh, also, I can switch back to my shield for the duration of the battle. Oh. 
Oh, that was terribly su uh, successful. Yeah, you. Wanna go? Let's go. Yeah, okay. He's pretty pretty satisfied with the concept of going by the looks of it. Alright. So we can relight the torch, I think. Though there are other enemies in the area, so maybe keep that idea for later. Look, whom can we summon here? Ruined Aflis. Is that an AI companion or is that just something? Oh. Why didn't you spawn earlier? Well, no biggie. I accept your surrender. Oh, dokey. No, because it's all dark and like. And I can't tell immediately if a skeleton has risen or not, and I don't remember where the next skeleton spawn point is. Well, we might actually have ore from the lobby already. Okay, get the torch again. Make sure we light our path. Now, if I remember correctly, the area ahead of here might be a fair bit more challenging than where we just came from. You know, if my memory does not betray me. Which it very well, well might. Yeah. Very well white? No. Very well might. There we go. Two dead enemies and a human effigy. How adorable. Okay, I think this is the last guy. So, yeah. I still want to light this torch as well, though. Because that just seems like a valid plan. Come on now. You're with me, Torch Watchy. We have 16 minutes on you, and we're never gonna use you up. And never gonna let you down. And we're gonna run around. Oh, wait. No, that's not that's not what I meant. That's not right. Oh right, you're an archer. Oh. Okay, so what can we do here? I don't remember. Did this door open? It does. But how does that help me? Is there a hole in the ceiling here? No, there isn't. Good. That means we can actually kill the guys inside. Without getting in too much trouble. Because we have company upstairs. And with me moving in around downstairs, they might actually get a glimpse, well, an understanding that I may be here. Which is not ideal, really. Let's take a look. Hi. Okay, there's three of them here, so uh, back down I go. And I'm gonna go look into alternative methods of kicking their asses. I hear something very moany. That's not you, Archer, is it? Might be. Okay, some of the old ironclads are moving. With luck, one of them may explode one of the barrels upstairs and kill himself. On the other hand, I have also have this guy here, and he is not gonna do that. He instead is going to die as soon as I don't. Yeah, might as well. See, there we went. That slowed me. There we go. Rest in pieces. Sadly, we don't get that guy going all... Whatever you would call it on us. Whoop. Okay, I think the guys from upstairs may be more interested in me now. Seriously, dude. You hit my... Uh, what do you call it? Neck hair. 
Like the hair on the back of my neck, dude. That sounds really cool, you know? Right, I'm gonna see about going over here. This is all very risky, you see? That's why I'm being so cautious and stuff. Yeah. There's nothing safe about this. Because there's a dark spirit ahead. But there's also this. Of course we can't rest on it now because we have some on the dark spirit. Uh, but, you know, it's thought that counts. And the counted thoughts. Shit. For an armor, you have access to a lot of magic. Which is really not what I want from you. And there we died. Wait, no, apparently not. This is probably wasteful there. But on the other hand, run away! There's a plan if I've ever heard of one. Of course, he's going to keep on us. And he's probably going to kill us. But on the other hand, I may be able to skip the inevitable demise part if I use another life gem. Yeah, that may help. What might also help is a backstab. So if you'd be so kind to let me have one, no, you won't be that kind. Of course not. Stop your magic shit! I have no time for it. None. No time at all for your magic shit. Open your guard so I can attack. Not what I meant. Alright, uh... Bugger off again. Buggering off is the valid strategy in this situation. It looks like the most valid strategy, even. Whoop. Especially according to that. Uh, keep in mind, uh, yeah, this is the work. See? Totally not going to work. I'm not sure if I used the life gem or not. I think I did. I seem to be healing anyway. Okay. That's another retreat on my part. Come on, seal, help me out here. This is why I wear blue seal, you know? To help me against dark invaders. Surely it should help against scripted ones as well, no? But surely you should be running out of casts already. Well. That didn't help you too much, did it? Yeah. Oh, that's what it is. It's like a big orb thing. I wasn't sure what you were casting this, sir. Uh. Why did I lower my shield? Oh, because I'm idiot. I'm idiot. Yeah, there we go. Uh, luckily, if we do die here, this is a fairly easily accessible location. Why did I do that? Oh, right, because of that. Huh. We are almost there. How did that not hit? Yeah? You wanna go? There we go. Invader banished. Eventually. Thank you. For your human effigy, which I won't need. I don't think. Unless I die. And don't find a place to be summoned. Okay, so... Now, we don't have a lot of health on us. Big surprise there. So, my plan is to go ahead and rest at a bonfire. That sounds perfectly valid. Yeah? Now, you're not going to intrude on my plans to rest at the bonfire, sir. See? Resting at the cannot use bonfire because this fucker. Oh, fuck, uh. And now I can't kill him because bonfire. 
That wasn't the course of action I was predicting from this. Okay. There we go. Finally. We can rest at the bonfire. We can return to Majula. And we can look into things next time. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you then. Okay, one of you should just fall down, you know? I guess they're waiting for... Oh, yeah. There he goes.